Hi guys, and welcome back to the Bristol Prepper channel. Um, I do apologise that we've waited kind of like five, four or five days till we uh, uploaded. Um, just because we're sorting some stuff out for you guys, um, ready to upload on the channel and um, put some bits and pieces together. I do apologise for the wait though, guys. <coughs> but guys, anyway, no further ado. Today, we are looking at my two favourite pieces of gear. Of all time, all the bits of gear I've got. Um, I want to do a bit of like a viral... Not viral, but um, a put rang video. So everybody does one as well. Um, all my we got it's quite a good close knit group within the uh, small bushcraft and prepper uh, community at the moment. We're all like this. So uh, I'd love to see you guys. Um, what what you got, um, Mr. M uh, Woodsman, um, Frog Tax Gear Sanctuary, um, uh, um. Midwest Tax One Survival, uh, loads of people. Whoever wants to go out, like drama prepper, van prepper, just you guys. It would be amazing, guys, to see whatever his favorite two two pieces of gear. You can only choose two, but it can be anything. But we're excluding kits, so get inside those kits and choose your favorite item uh, in there, guys. And I've chosen my favorite two items. And I'm going to show you right now, guys. So the first one, if you see me use it in lots of videos, it's the Condor Bushlor. And listen guys, I swear by this thing. It is amazing, amazing knife. The more I've used it, the more I fell in love with it. Um, I was never, when I first started doing bushcraft and uh, prepping and stuff like that, I was never a big fan, if I'm quite honest, of the wooden handle look of any knife. Not, not, I'm not excluding the corner brush floor. But then um, it really grew on me guys. And then uh, I got one uh, just because people wanted to see it. So I got hold of one and uh, reviewed it. And I've never looked back, guys. This knife is incredible. Never let me down. Holds an edge incredibly well. After I've had a beating on it, it'll stay uh, very, very sharp. Hair popping sharp. Uh, mine's got a little bit of leather stuff on it from the sheath. Because the sheath uh, just like lets off little particles or whatever goes on the blade. It's not a problem. I'll see when I'm using it. Doesn't matter. And then when I get out, I'll clean it anyway. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, guys, um, an amazing bit of kit. And if you want to see the review on this, go back to my channel and check that out. It'll be in uh, one of my gear reviews um, playlists. It'll be in there somewhere. So check that out, guys, if you want to see the review on that. But that's my first pe pe uh, favorite bit of kit. It's just a nice bit of kit. The sheath's real nice, really well made. Um, just real thick, nice, uh, heavy duty leather. It's uh, just a real bit of kit. Like I said, never let me down. It's, uh, we're very good friends, me and the uh, Condor Bushlar. I'm a real fan of the... Um, Scandinavian grind. The Scandi grind is um, just such a nice grind. Uh, I know it's sharp and it is susceptible to rolling and uh, chips and stuff because it is a uh, a more of a a shallower type grind. Don't it's more like it's got more of a, a more of a point to it rather than say a a, a a saber grind, which is more of a wider one. But obviously they're harder. They will last longer, but it's not as sharp. Um, but I just really like this guys. It's just the edge is just incredible It stays the edge is kept for a long long time. It stays sharp for forever And it's just a beautiful bit of kit. Um, I've never had problems with edge rolling or anything like that It uh, makes feather sticks like a dream Like I said a nice bit of kit. The only thing I did do to mine is um, I did File the back down a little bit. It did come with a bit of um wasn't like degree, it was more of a polished spine. So I just uh, took a file to that and just improved the spine on that for shaving for uh, when making just stick shavings to make get the fire going. So that's the first bit of kit. Now the second bit of kit might be a bit obvious, but it is my cold steel pipe pull, guys. This is because the amount of time this took me to make, uh, obviously you guys will know from the videos. If you've watched it, or if you haven't watched, watched it, go back and check out either my review for the Cold Steel Pipe Pork, or if you've got the time, sit there and watch my mod video, how I modded it, and what I did to it. But, just literally, because i put so much time into this, I love it. It's real cool, real light, I love, obviously like the look of it, um, but I've just got a bond with it now, because i put so much time into it, and effort, um, just the versatility this gives me, my knife... Um, in an SHTF situation broke I could take the handle uh, the head off this slide down use it as a individual piece itself and uh, use, use it for cutting tasks 
and all bits and pieces like that. It just offers a lot of versatility as well as the hammerhead for smashing stuff in, the hammer pull on the back. Um, it just offers a lot, a lot. Um, and obviously it's a lot lighter than an axe. You can't do the big tasks that a big axe, forest axe can. But then um, what I've got on days out, I necessarily don't need that. Um, so this is why I chose this. Um, and I use this quite a lot. It's just a real good bit of kit. I really enjoy it. So that's that one, guys. And that's my second bit of kit. So hopefully you've enjoyed seeing my two. Like I said, I've chucked a lot of your names out there, guys. Um, just loads of people. Uh, Flint and Steel and Survival, you could do one, buddy. Um, is it Country Prepper? There's so many guys I'm friends with that I want to see everybody. It's so cool. So I want to see everybody. Because it's really interesting. Uh, um, I think to see, uh, I asked on my 200 subscriber giveaway to see people's kits and um, I think it's so interesting to see other people's gear and what they hold dear and uh, what they hold in high esteem and um, what they really rely on. It's really interesting I think, and especially to see people's two favourite bits of gear. This could be anything guys, there's no limitations. It could be your favourite pair of hiking boots, it could be your favourite rucksack, it could be your favourite tin of beans guys, your favourite prep, your favourite bushcraft item, it doesn't matter. Just show me your favourite bushcraft or prepping item. It could be anything. Like I said, it's food and kits. This kits is a little bit cheating because you can bring a whole kit out and have loads of bits and pieces in there. So it's got to be one item, um, guys. Um, yeah, so that's it really, guys. So hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this video. Um, obviously, follow me, guys, on Facebook. Like me on Facebook and that. If you want any of my personal prep jumpers, give me a shout. At the moment, guys, we've got a 200 subscriber giveaway running at the moment. So if you want to be involved in that, go back to my channel, watch that video, and follow it, and to see how you get involved. Otherwise, you can't be in it to win it. That's it, really, guys. So for today, I'll catch you guys another day, another way.